Welcome back guys. This is of course based on a Drew story. This is episode 2 and we are in season 2. But this episode is called Homesick. The journey to reuniting with my boys. It is a long journey so right now we're going to take it all the way back to the start. Starting now. This fat is my home. I went not not fat in my home. Of course, it's 2020. I've made some decisions in my life that have caused a lot of things to change, to move around, to go up, to go down. Boom! We all know what comes and hits the world. It causes us to go into a total lockdown. Now, anybody that knows me knows that I love, I love my children and I'll do anything for me for, to be there for them. So currently I'm with my daughter, but my sons are in Florida. Now the numbers in Trinidad are nowhere close to what's going on in the United States. So the world shuts down. Man, and I don't know for how long. How long am I not going to be able to see my sons? I don't know now. This is around, I think this is March early March so I get to spend so much time with Lily you know Lily and I are now developing a new bond a whole new bond that that we never had before but my sons my sons are accustomed to to me being around 24 7 if I'm not traveling I'm there with them and then they've been accustomed to this since they were babies at first it starts off okay you know what we think this is going to be a lockdown for two weeks two weeks turns into a month a month turns into two months two months turns into three and the frustration is is beginning to become unbearable not only for me but for my boys especially my youngest son Tristan who doesn't understand what's going on at this point so he he just wants me to come home. Um, so every day I talk to him, he's asking me, Daddy, are you gonna come home? Are you gonna come home? Um, until one day he calls me and he's like, Daddy, I just want you to come home. And I'm, t I'm telling him, son, you know, as soon as I can, I can get on a plane, as soon as I can, the airport's open, I'm gonna come to see you, I promise you. But he doesn't wanna hear that. He doesn't want to hear it at all, actually. Um, so he starts to cry. He asked me, you know, I'm in Trinidad, so he asked me if I can jump on a plane. Whew. If I could jump, if I could jump in a car to drive to see him. I'm not gonna lie to you, it was, it was hard, man. It was hard to hear. Ah, uh, it was hard to see. It was hard to deal with. So now, I'm trying my best not to show Lily that pain, and I'm trying my best to be strong and let my boys know that everything's gonna be all right, but. Yeah, so I'm trying my best to, to let them know that everything's going to be all right. But the truth is, I don't know. I, I really don't know what's going to happen. So, three months turn into four months, four months turn into five months. And, and now, all my sons are starting to get frustrated. All. Jaden, Caleb, and especially Aaron. Now, Aaron is the second youngest so at this point now he's called he is calling me every day you know he just he just wants to talk and he's the only one that is is making the effort to reach out besides tristan because of course caleb and, and Jaden they know but i'm doing what i can to to reach out to them every day just to let them know everything's gonna be all right now i don't get emotional um, but this one, this one at home, 
So I said to myself, enough is enough. I, I sent a few emails well to the Trinidad government because at this point in time I need, we're now five months in I believe, I think we're in July, you know, I think we're in June, no we're in July and I just, I just start sending emails to the government and I say you know what, they got it, they got to send an email back, they got to get an exemption, give me an exemption, sorry. So finally I get the exemption to leave. Now it becomes a difficult time because I don't know when Trinidad is going to reopen. So once I leave, I don't know when I'm going to get back, which then puts me in another situation, especially when the R is concerned. I try, to, I try everything. One of my friends tells me he, he has a charter flight. He calls me on the Wednesday, the charter flight's on the Thursday. He tells me I need to find a way to get a test. Uh, COVID tests because where the plane is going, anywhere it lands, I'll have to have a COVID test. So, so I am legitimately doing everything that I can. I take COVID tests, man sticks a Q-tip up my nose. He promises me he's gonna get me the test within the time frame. When he's finished, I pay him. He then tells me he can't get it to me within the time frame. Mr. Charter. So I go and I do this live with the A team. And we finished the live, it was for Antigua. And I tell Josh, who's the keyboardist, I say, I'm, I'm explaining to them my frustration of what's going on. And I say like, you know, I just, I just need to get somewhere so that I can, you know, move from that place. Somewhere that's open so that I can move from that place to Florida. So Josh says, you know, my friend is actually leaving to Barbados tomorrow to go to Antigua and he gives me a number I call that number the next morning and if I call that number at 10 a.m. that morning the agent that I call tells me the flight is at 1.55 that afternoon so I rush Rush, 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 rush. I sit down, I have a conversation with Lily. I talk to her mom. Uh, and, you know, we kind of just put things in place on how we're going to deal with how Lily may feel. And, and you know, I just stuff a whole bunch of things in my in my bag. Mind you, I don't even know what's what from this point. All I know is that the flight is in about two hours and I need to get to the airport now. How this is going to work out, I don't know yet. All I just, all I know is that I just need to get out of Trinidad so I can find my way to Miami. So I, I get on a plane that afternoon and I head to Barbados, from Barbados to Antigua. We are traveling on our way to Antigua. We have arrived in Antigua. It's scary now. Traveling through Barbados, you see people in hazmat suits, you see, you know, people are fully masked, nobody wants to talk to anybody. The, the, the interaction is just, it's just like, you know, you, you go to the custom officers, the custom officers look at you like, I'm sorry, the immigration officers, they look at you like you have something and, and they don't want to catch it. And, and by all means, I totally understand. It's scary. On the plane, people are seats apart. And, you know, it, it's, it's, just, it's just weird to see. So I leave Antigua. And I jump on a plane to Miami. Yeah, so this is the final leg of the flight. And then to Orlando, you see the boys. No, there's quite a bit of people on the plane, buddy. So I'll call you guys when I get to Orlando, okay? Finally in Miami. After six months of being in lockdown. This is where I'm at now. I'm in Miami. We have chose. Well, I'm, I'm lying to you. I, I went from Miami to Orlando where I chose to self-quarantine. 
um, just to make sure that I, I, um, I don't have any symptoms and I'm going through anything. So I, because I don't want to beat my boys, and that's the first thing that I give them. So this is where I've been at for the last couple of days, just you know, knowing that I'm so close to them, but yet I'm so far, and it's been tough, man. I think this is one of the. I'm again. I'm not an emotional person. This is one of the toughest and most emotional times. Every time I think about it, I feel like like crying. Daddy. What's up, buddy? <laughs> so guys, um, so I finally made it. I finally made it to see them. Um, this morning was a, a really emotional morning for me. Um, yeah, I'm glad I didn't document it for you, for you guys to see. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I finally made it, man. I finally made it. After all the, the traveling, after all the, the stress, after all the headaches. All my boys, Aaron, Jaden, Tristan, Kayla. And Daddy! Yeah, say what's up, guys. Oh, you guys want to say hi? Hi. 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 Hola. Hola. And so, hi. This is True Story episode number two. The journey. It's a rough one. Yes, people. Yes, people. I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sub. Subscribe and also of course follow me on all social media platforms at it's true Facebook Twitter Instagram or at it's true I T S D R U E and homesick the album is available now go get it much love see you in next episode I it's true Bang.